What's going on, guys? If my eyes look tired, I think they're just burning. Uh, my allergies are acting up. It's been quite a week, and uh, yeah, my eyes are just on fire. I've been using uh, medica medical, yeah, like medicine, eye drops, it's supposed to help with my eyes. But uh, anyway, to get into what I'm talking about, it's going to be EDP. He's back. He's back in full force. Uh, he started a channel a little while back, a couple weeks, and it was called The Big Cheese, or Big Cheese, whatever the hell he was calling it. And come to find out, he renamed it now. He went back to his old original moniker, which was EDP, but he spelt it out this time. 445, and he's making content like he used to. Um, he's gotten thousands of subs already in the few weeks he's been on. Thousands of views already. I don't know if he's monetized, and I doubt he's going to get monetized because I doubt he meets the criteria. Top it off. If he tries to get himself monetized, it'll probably put him, uh, you know, some crosshairs on him, and he's trying to avoid that. I assume he's going to try to keep everything through donations uh, from some third party, if I had to guess. But basically, he's back making videos on YouTube, and it's been a few weeks too long that he's allowed to keep this channel. Uh, his first video that he dropped, which I'm not going to get to that. I'm just going to go ahead and show you a different video uh, after I explain. The first video that he made was literally explaining that he is giving this another shot. He's trying again, and... Uh, He'll see how long he keeps his, you know, his channel this time. And he goes on to say it's bad that he got crucified at this point, and he shouldn't have been pretty much uh, completely shut down for as long as he's been. But, I mean, I don't think he understands. When you are a, uh, a monster like you are, yeah, you should be taken off platforms that you can directly go find kids real easily. People are going to paint their narrative on you based on what they want to believe, especially when it comes to the Internet and social media. One thing I want you guys to understand is that when you're dealing with trolls, when, you, when you're dealing with people on the internet who can just leave a comment and just run off to the scurries of their own, you know, hiding spots, is that there's no reconciling with these people. There's no getting through to them. There's no, you know, trying to get these people to understand um, where you are at. Now, yes, I did mute his uh, cussing because oh, the only person who's going to be cussing on my channel is me. And he also drops too many F-bombs and everything else, pretty much the whole video. And the other thing is, yeah, that's that's kind of his character. If you don't know, he just constantly cusses. Like, I get it. Everybody cusses. We're all adults here. I mean, come on. We're, we're grown. Uh, we all know uh, some dirty words. But the thing is, he sounds like a 10-year-old on the playground that just learned. It just shows how low of an IQ he has. And to address, basically, yeah, this is his comeback. This is a video he did not too long ago trying to address the situation. And I think he completely forgot the situation that he was in because he doesn't take any responsibility, especially the intro. You just saw what he's doing. He's trying to manipulate it like everybody else is attacking him when he was literally the perpetrator. He was the problem. At that point in time in your life, you know, addressing what happened a few years ago, the whole incident and stuff like that. I'll be the first person to tell you I was in a very dark place in my life. Very dark place. I'm sick and tired of hearing the I was in a dark place excuse. Uh, to try to, you know, make sense of their shitty behavior. Anybody, by the way, that's just all influencers, a lot of YouTubers and stuff. It's like, oh, I was in a dark place, that's why I did that. No, you've thought it through, you made a decision, and unfortunately this whole situation is your fault. You decided that you were going to talk to kids. It wasn't like you had a reason to be talking to them when they even said their age. Like, at that point, you should have been like, oh, I'm sorry, hey, yeah, I don't want to talk to you because you're a minor. That should have been like your cutoff right there. The only time to talk to any type of person underage would be in like a public environment where you're doing like a panel or something. That's the only time it's okay. Or if you're live streaming and they're in your stream. Uh, obviously, if there's a kid in your stream with your type of vulgar language, uh, that's going to be on them for hearing it. But for you to privately message somebody and it went to the degree it is, that isn't, oh, I was in a dark place. That is you consciously making a decision that this is okay in your head. You know, um, had the fame, had the money, you know, um, had the status, you know. Um, I thought that I couldn't be touched and paid the price for it. So, you paid the price is what you think. You are a giant moose knuckle to believe that. I don't see how you think you paid the price when you never went and saw jail time. That's paying the price. The alleged thing is a crime. That means jail. You tried to finesse and, like, riz up a kid, also with shit pics, by the way. What is wrong with you? How do you think you paid the price? This is this is delusional. You are an absolute asshat to believe that you can sit there and say, Oh, I paid the price because of trolls, because of this. 
Look, I'm sorry, but a uh, bad take, I guess. You're a monster. You're a terrible person. You don't get to sit there and say, oh, I paid the price when all you did was lose your platform and which apparently you're back up now. Uh, and it's, you know, time will tell. Hopefully your channel will get taken down. But you literally haven't paid the price, at least not enough. You should be in jail 100% uh, for everything that uh, you've barely admitted to. Uh, or at least borderline tried to say, uh, you know, you're addressing. But no, you should be in jail. That's paying the price. The only thing that you can do as a human being when you make a mistake to this magnitude is to take responsibility for your actions, take accountability for your actions, understand that there is an issue right understand that this is not normal you know what i mean to have these type of behaviors they are not normal right get the necessary help whether it's talking to a psychiatrist talking to a therapist um you know it could even be it could even be as simple as talking down to your i'm sorry sitting down and talking to your family members and overall just trying to make sure that the same mistake doesn't happen again if that's not good enough for people, well then that sounds like a personal issue to me. Now, a lot of people, they like to assume, right? Just because I haven't came out and made some big ass crying video, making a fucking ass up out of myself all hysterical on camera and shit like that, that I show no remorse. That couldn't be any more further from the truth. All right, this absolute Modi clam makes absolutely no sense. He's going to sit there and say that he doesn't want it to happen again. But it did. That's kind of what was so weird about it, that it literally happened twice. And you got caught by Skeeter and Gideon. Uh, Gideon, Gideon, yeah. Uh, you know, kind of pranking you at that point by dressing up as a cupcake. Do you forget that whole thing happened? You were on dialysis. You just got into your treatment. Or no, you just came out of your treatment. And, yeah, you, like, hobbled away to your car, drive off. And, obviously, they knew that you probably had something on you that they could not, uh, you know, get close to you without getting retaliated on. Cops and everything included. That's why they did it in a public area, so they could at least try to get the drop on you. But, no, you still won't admit that you are that far gone and delusional that uh, you probably should at least check yourself into a place for pretty much the rest of your life. That's the bare minimum you could do, but you're not going to. And then second, to say, oh, well, I apologize to my you know, family and my diehard fans. That's not enough. Just because you apologize to some people that want to be as delusional as you? No, that's not good there, dude. Not at all. That's wrong. You're still wrong. You're still completely in the wrong. There is no way to justify what you did and to try to act like you need to have a comeback. No, you still don't need to be on YouTube. You used your platform to be able to talk to people that were underage. That is disgusting, one way or another. And then he goes on to talk about Instagram, saying that people, and he goes through the numbers, he goes, I think, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, okay, he, he names all those ages, are messaging him and DMing him on uh, Instagram, and that on Instagram they are trying to catch him up, trying to uh, set him up, trying to do some real shady stuff. Well, I don't know if you know this, but uh, it's pretty easy to not get involved in those by not being a piece of shit. It's just that simple. A big surprise. If you're not a pet, you know, a uh, predator, you don't have to worry about it. It's simple. Now, there's, there's, there you go. There's the cure right there. The, this, this, the magic touch. Don't be a monster, and you don't have to worry about it. It's that simple. But no, no, that's, your, your problem is that oh, they're gonna message me and they're gonna try to catch me slipping. Are you just admitting that you're gonna do it again if they don't quit messaging you? I know that's just me, kind of, uh, you know, tacking on some. Uh, shit to this whole uh, big giant beef sandwich but the thing is he is a monster we all know this we're all in agreement nobody's going to disagree except for the couple thousand people that are pretty much backing him up now but he's back on the platform I mean literally trucking on this is him uh, if you can't tell and I don't know why but my cursor will not pull up but anyway this is his channel and these are the videos I'm talking about this is the one that I've been covering so far and I kind of peeked through some of his stuff, and yeah, he's gotten to 16,000. And he's got his Instagram linked, and his Twitter, and this is pretty much, and he's got 462,000 views, 
And it looks like he started this channel up last year. I didn't know it was actually that long ago. So he made this channel and just sat in the back burner for a little while until he decided to change it over, which I'm assuming it's been a month since he started. He's going to pretty much get this channel deleted again, and that's the only thing we can hope for. But yeah, here it is. EDP 445, the OG 445, which I'm assuming a lot of people knew this was him to begin with just because of that name, or they just probably thought it was just a, uh, you know, not the official channel yet. So yeah, he's back, pretty much back to his old ways, uh, trying to skirt the line, avoid YouTube's ban, and uh, I guess build another channel, and just see if uh, if he can get away with it. I doubt this channel is going to be up for much longer. It's starting to gain traction. A couple of other bigger YouTubers are also starting to talk about it, and uh, if I had to guess, he's probably got another week or two. I could be wrong. But another week or two, we can only hope until this one gets gone and he'll finally, hopefully, realize it's over. That he's not going to be able to keep a channel. That YouTube is not going to be a platform for him. Uh, if he wants to, he'd probably have to go to, like, Rumble or Kick or whatever else he hasn't been banned from yet. Kick will probably take him. They usually have quite a few uh, people like him on there. And they usually like to actually live stream their crime. So, hey, you can actually be on there and actually... Uh, you know, record yourself and live stream yourself talking to these children. But yeah, that's about all I got to say. Y'all have a good one.